A Bedford man has filed a complaint against Ohio's Secretary of State. In May, we told you Secretary of State Frank LaRose sent out mail that caused concern. What looked like an, an official letter from the government was actually a fundraising request. At that time, LaRose had not announced he was running a campaign. But now that he has officially filed for U.S. Senate, Columbus Bureau reporter Morgan Trow found out that some are saying he broke the law. Being held accountable isn't partisan. If anybody's supposed to know the rules of campaign financing and what candidates are allowed to do and not allowed to do, it should be Frank LaRose. At least that's what lifelong Cleveland Republican Ralph King believes. He filed a complaint with the Federal Elections Commission claiming Secretary of State Frank LaRose has been illegally running a campaign and raising funds without registering as a candidate. LaRose filed to run for U.S. Senate in July, but the complaint cites fundraisers months before that. He's trying to raise money, as much money as he can, outside fundraising guidelines so he doesn't have to report it. In May, we broke the story that LaRose was sending out fundraising requests of $5,000 that some voters felt looked like official state business. He did this with the Leadership for Ohio Fund, a political group. Elections law professor Atiba Ellis spoke with us then, saying it was legal for him to do so since he wasn't declared. We checked back in with Ellis now that LaRose is officially a candidate. He says although it may give the appearance of impropriety, it would be very difficult to prove. It's hard to get at evidence that Secretary LaRose was campaigning or acting like a candidate behind closed doors. The FEC allows for limited political engagement before candidates officially file. The testing the waters period. We reached out to LaRose but did not get a response. But he told a reporter, we very carefully follow the rules as written and I have a great compliance team to make sure that we've done that. It looks like playing fast and loose with the law even though the technicalities might have been met. For King, this isn't the type of leader he wants to see in D.C. He assured us he wasn't asked by either of LaRose's competitors to file against him. If they don't respect it as a candidate, how can we expect them to follow the rules when they're an elected official? The FEC can't comment on the matter, but these cases typically take years to resolve. It's possible the race will be over by the time there's a ruling. At the Ohio State House, I'm Morgan Trow reporting.